What's up in the... Hello there, welcome to my industrial district. Look at this beautiful place, how, in how industrial this is. Oh my. Dang. <laughs> well, this is beauty at its finest. I mean, look at this. Beautiful. So beautiful. So we have a bunch of cracked oil in here, but the most important thing is that we have 23,940 diesel fries cracked oil. And also, is it there? There's, what is, oh my. That's where I put that box at. But um, anyway, we're not here to be concerned about the box. We're more concerned with, and, wait a second. Huh? Oh, wait, oh, that's for circuits, right. So basically, we gotta deal with the diesel fries cracked oil now. And the way we're gonna do that is quite simple. We're going to get an industrial boiler. Um, one of the ones that does not explode a gate. And we're gonna power it somehow. I'm not sure how right now. I'll figure that out. So, an industrial boiler. Also, I kind of want to make an, another anvil today. Which would be the next tier. What is the next tier of anvil? Because I want to see if I can make nuclear RTG for my heater, because in the 112 version, yes, you can make RTG heaters, but uh, in this version, I cannot do that. So, oh, you can use, oh, never mind. So it'd be that, or it'd be Ferric Shrabidate is the next tier thing. And I don't think, I don't think there's really any reason to go to basement tier, but uh, we're gonna try, maybe, there's a reason, who knows. So, this petroleum gas product is not something we're really interested in, and we're probably just gonna dump it into a gas flare. Because, we have a lot of petroleum gas, and uh, setting up another gas flare wouldn't be too difficult. I'd probably set it up right over here, maybe. Sulfuric acid is going to be used for who knows what. And we're expanding it into yet another chunk. Because we're- well, I mean, we might be able to fit it all into this- in this chunk, but... <laughs> We're going another chunk over, basically. How many chunks big is this thing? It's gonna be insane. All right, I say we're gonna we're gonna make the industrial boiler. We're gonna we're gonna figure all that out. So usually with these things, I use the solar boiler uh, for a second for actually powering the main boiler, which is kind of weird. But it's the only way you can use a solar boiler to power your oil setup is to actually just have a solar boiler and and a regular boiler, which we're gonna go with this guy who's 8 cast steel plates, some industrial copper, and some polymer bars, which are going to be Bakelite, because we have a load of that. One, two, three, four, Bakelite. So, so to get to 8 of them, you're going to need 24. And now, 24 is pretty easy to do, just by getting to 48. Boom, you got 24. Division. You can divide 64 into 24 pretty easily. Now, for the actual exchanger itself, the heat exchanger is going to be... Let's see here. We have heat exchanging heat exchanger. Boom. Oh, heat exchanging heater. Now, technically, you can power this with a nuclear reactor. That's not my cup of tea. Uh, honestly, I think if, there, if, if we did that, it'd probably explode a cake on us. What is this? Broken toaster. Where the heck did broken toasters come from? Also... Why does it contain a self-charging... What? Where do I get these? Where the heck do I get toasters? <laughs> Alexandrite. Where do you find a toaster? This is brand new. These toasters were not here before. Fusion cores, advanced batteries, self-charging uranium batteries. This is a valuable toaster. Holy crap. Not to mention that this one gives you Alexandrite. And it looks like toast itself. For rubber, which we do have some rubber over here, which we're gonna have to rebuild this entire rocket. It, it's it's not this anymore. It's changed, unfortunately. You gotta make the other one, the one I don't like that much. The soy is. It's got soy in it. <laughs> nah, that's just a joke, dude. Soy is amazing. Soy sauce, bro. If it was a soy sauce rocket, <laughs> bro. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Dude, I'm totally launching myself into space on a soy sauce rocket. That's that's crazy. Steel pipes, steel plates. Holy crap! But <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at all. Why are we making such stupid jokes, bro? It's 16 plates. Why are you making 12? Make 16, please. Boom. And I am not worried about steel at all. It's 
Bro. <laughs> you don't understand this at all. Um, I'll go ahead and elaborate why I'm quite annoyed by that and what's going on here. Basically, my mouse is very old. It's wireless, and for some reason, well, it actually has holes melted in it from the amount that I've used it. <laughs> I've melted holes in the side of it <laughs> by using it so much. Well, it's probably just from how long it's existed, but basically all the, the rubber is, is, there's holes on it where my, where my thumb goes. <laughs> it's very funny. But arguably, most annoyingly, the mouse button sometimes decides doesn't hold down properly because of its age or something. I, I don't really know. Exchanging heat exchanger, right? Jolly good. And then we're going to go ahead and make the industrial boiler so we can hook everything together. Boom. Nice. Oh, this actually looks like it's going to fit in really well. I don't know why. <laughs> that Why it wouldn't. I mean, th this is HBM mod. Everything looks good. And, uh, yeah, it, this really does look like it would fit in. It's just designed that way or something. I don't know. Don't know what it is, but it, it, it just... <laughs> it literally matches them. Like, look at this. This guy's got the, the steel on the outside. He's got, like, bolts and right. This guy also does. <laughs> so does this guy. You can get this guy way sooner than these guys, though. Which is the only difference. Well, also, this guy this guy is actually, like, um... Does not do anything that these guys do. And these guys are both very different from each other. Okay, so on this one, there's this thing, right? There's this big square. But on the catalytic reformer over here... There's this square. Similar? <laughs> Which is just really good, the way these things look. So we need to make a solar boiler. Or maybe we already have one. I don't know. I really don't know. Or we could just pipe what we already have. Hey, that's genius. Okay, I think I'll do that. Um, let's go out. I really need to fix this place. This place is like... This section is not done at all. I've... I mean, I've been working on tearing out this mountain so I can build a big tower here. Don't know what we're going to do with the tower. I just want to build a big tower. Uh, the sulfurized correct oil. Correct. Boom. Okay, so here is where the two fluids must go. And there's another rack under there because I've just buried it there. <laughs> we're going to have one final chunk of machinery. Correct. And, uh... This will be low pressure steam. No, low pressure steam is gonna go under this. This is just gonna be regular. I think. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one's gonna be regular steam. Correct? So, steam is gonna go through here. Then, with the other thing, we're going to have the pipe go under here. Boom! This is going to be low pressure, and it's going to follow a pipeline through here. Into here, which of course this is all cracked stone because I've filled this place in a lot. <laughs> I just use any garbage I have to fill in this rubbish or to fill in these holes, if that makes any sense. Okay, so that's gonna be low pressure steam, and it's just gonna go into the the thing here, which turns it back into water, and it, it's gonna look nice. We're gonna set this guy to steam, and then we're gonna finally. Have this pipe here carry steam to here. Correct. I think. I think that's right. Okay. Steam, boom. I don't know how that could be wrong. That's the thing. Okay. So, that should do. That's cobblestone for some reason. Who knows why I'm burying so much random stones and stuff? Honestly, it's probably just because I have to bury everything. And, as you can see, this guy is actually... Is this guy still running? This guy is running now, which is good. Keeps up very well. So, desulfurized crude oil, right? That's gonna go into a refinery. And also, what's going on here? Do we have a full thing? Full tank of hydrogen? Yep, yeah, looks like it. What about here? Do we have a full tank of oxygen? This guy has not done anything. So, yeah, this guy has not emptied out to make more hydrogen. 
Okay, so what do we need to do? Right, we need to make the refinery now, which is is a nice step. So this refinery is going to be different, and in fact, the thing about refineries is that they've actually changed slightly in the GUI. You may have noticed that um, the refinery, in fact, does not have that button that it used to have for cracked or whatever it was, oil. Uh, I hope that the refinery gets like uh, more stuff for it, like recipes and stuff, because it it's a it's actually a nice machine. I enjoy the recipes in the refinery. So that would be that would be quite nice. In the future, I, I don't know. Sixteen copper plates, of course. So we're gonna go ahead and take that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, that's 17. Well, I'm sure we'll use that one eventually. Shove it in there. Boom. <laughs> Sorry. I am still not feeling too great, okay? Shove this piece of garbage in there. Okay, so, yes, we're shoving this in there. Six big steel shell. Right, we're gonna need, we're gonna need, we're gonna need, we're gonna need more of that. Um, because we don't have any of that. In fact, yeah. Like, like I said, still, still not great. Um, <laughs> shove this in there, dude. Okay, you know what? Uh, okay, we've got the steel pipes. We just need insulators now. And uh, do we have insulators? Probably not. Can we make insulators? Definitely. They're actually really easy to make. In fact, we'll be able to make them very quickly. How many stacks is this worth? Four stacks. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I don't need four stacks of insulator. Please never give me this much insulator again. I really don't think we're actually we're gonna use this. We're gonna use it for something. I mean, it would be for the HDR carrier rocket uh, if it if it still existed and it didn't have rubber because it it did not used to have rubber. It used to have insulators. It used to have like two stacks or like 256 insulators, so it was like ridiculous. And then it was changed to 64 rubber, and then it was deleted from existence. Right as I was about to make it. <laughs> I mean, it's fine that I got the. It's fine that it got deleted from existence. But it's, it's like I just got sabotage. <laughs> I'm a parkour master. I can't actually hear the game for some reason. I think my headphones are busted. Okay, I calibrated my headphones. They work again. So basically, there's a slider on these things. It's it, this this uh, it's broken. <laughs> it's, so uh, it's been like that for a while now. But uh, basically, what it, it's like is that whenever it does not work, it's that thing, and you just have to slide it up a little bit and get it at the right exact point where the volume is not zero. <laughs> it's insane. And they also think I think they have something else in there. But it's like the most pointless thing to have built into headphones. I don't understand why you'd put that in there. Maybe there's a reason. I I don't. I, I wouldn't. I'm not an expert in headphone design. I don't. I don't design headphones. The sulfurized hot cranked oil, aka hot chocolate. Boom. Yum yum yum. Prepare to drink up. <laughs> okay, that that's that's just not funny at all. That that's that's not at all funny. Come on, get your act together, fellas. We got some work to do. Connection completed. Now this is spaghetti wiring system. But it gives you paraffin wax, which is of course complete rubbish and garbage. Get this garbage out of here. Gives you a lot of desulfurized light oil, desulfurized nephta, which are very, this one is very potent fuel. Now, it's time, ladies and gentlemen, for the next task. Fractionation towers. How many do you want? Six billion. We can afford six billion, fellas. It's no problem. Trust me. I don't think we have the separation column anymore. I do know that we have more steel. We always have more steel, in fact. Steel. It's over there. We're just gonna chuck some steel into there, make some gas steel plates. In fact, let's chuck in another stack of steel. Drop one of them. Boom. That should be an even amount. Take some of this cold coke over to the plant. We're gonna make some more steel. So this setup is the Blast Furnace RTG setup. Right, so I have a feed here for insert, and it inserts a um, this much of stuff, so I can fill it up to this much with enriched iron and cold coke of any type, and that will make steel very quickly. But it doesn't get drained as quickly because on the bottom I have a hopper, and the reason for the hopper there is that 
you don't want things to just fly everywhere if this box gets overflowed. And the hopper prevents that from happening, because it can only fill this box, and then it will fill itself, and if there's nothing to fill, it won't spit stuff everywhere like a conveyor ejector does. Which conveyor, that's part of the reason why you gotta find smart ways to do things. Now upstairs, I uh, have not found a smart way to do this one yet, but I'm sure I will eventually. This one, I, I have not found a smart way to do this one yet either. Um, yeah, I don't really care about that one anyway. The one I really care about, I think, is somewhere else. Oh, I think it's this one. Yeah, I think it, I think in here, I actually have a setup which is really good. Yeah, oh, never mind. This 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 spits. The, I don't know where I did that setup, but where it it does not spit anything out, no matter how hard it would try to do so. But if you really put your brain into it, you can make it so things don't just spit everywhere from your system. Anyway, 